Savage, aka OMH, aka the Siva. And we're here at Ollie's and I got my baby girl Brooke. Say what's up, Brooke. Hi. And uh, we're gonna go do a uh, figure uh just hunt or just pretty much show you what's in Ollie's cause the other day uh when I was here it was just busting at the seams and I believe you guys wanna see that man. So here we go. Ramsey Street Ollie's here. Let's get into it. Pick me up another Fortnite boat. $14.99. Watch out, bro, bro. And then jukebox. Here's your Fortnite boat right here, my friend. Grab that. Let's see how many's left. Oh, I ain't nothing. One more left. Let's see how much I spend today. How much I get. So, oh, excuse me. Daddy. Yes, ma'am. And I think I might pick up this metal mouse too. He's. $5.99. As you can see here, four owl, Fortnite owls, stash. They even got the big shark. And it's stacked deep rows back. So that's the Fortnite set. Here's the uh, Star Wars archive. I've been wanting my man right here. And for $9.99, I might get him. He's just not that appealing. Jesus Christ. For plenty of archive. Got Lando. See, has a skiff guard. All this stuff is less than $10. It's getting too full in here, Daddy. <laughs> Good. Moth Gideon for $7.99. The, uh, that coin collection. Grief Carga. Coal. More like Star Wars Minis Bad Batch, $5.99. I mean, the wall is just stacked too. And just little knickknack stuff that you can just pretty much pick through. So yeah, it looks like I'm gonna get all three of the uh, Bucky O'Hares here for $5.99. Don't even know if I'm gonna get this rabbit girl. I really don't care too much for her, but we'll see. But these frogs are pretty cool looking. I'm gonna grab them. Any other stuff they got if you into like reactions, Lucha Libre, $3.99. Power Rangers, Dino Megazord. I don't know what type of Power Rangers that is. I don't know if that's Lightning Collection. Doctor Who. Just a lot of little knickknack odd toys that people like to collect. This is pretty cool. It's got this toilet here. Old, old I don't know, I might get that. Like this stuff is like $3.99. It's hard to beat this. I mean, this is awesome, to be honest with you. I mean, I, like this is great uh diorama fodder, so yeah, I'm getting this. Get this Ghostbusters toilet. I almost kinda wanna get this eyeball guy here too. You know, $3.99, what the hell? Yeah, I'm getting that too. Yes, also I need this to complete my fantastic for. And I know this figure is probably not worth getting men on car, but I gotta get a men on car one because I have the other ones on set. Like this Ollie's right here is pretty much a plug and play store if you missed a lot of items you were waiting on. And that's when they say like wait on the clearance or play the long game. This is long game that is epitome right here. The flipping head uh Power Rangers. $5.99. Baroness $4.99. Excuse me, baby. What yes. about Batman you was talking about? Um, no, baby, I don't want that. That's, that's the, she talking about this Batman, right? That's not my style. You want it? It's two ninety nine. You want this Batman? All right, you can get a Batman. Just like you. Baby. That's how we ball. We balling like that, all. Yeah. Balling on a budget. <laughs> Man, now I'm coming here. I just had to film something on this store because I got a channel on yeah. YouTube, and you guys, y'all banging on the toys right now. All right, folks, here goes a rundown of Toy Mountain right here, pretty much from top to bottom. What I see is action figure wise. Uh, it looks like they have group. It looks like they have group. Uh, they got Ghostbusters toys here, $7.99, group, $9.99. Got a movie cap here, which I just brought from Amazon like two months ago for $20. He's for $9.99 here. 
Power Rangers. Uh, Lady J. Uh, I pretty much uh, seen the other day for 12 dollars hours. That's awesome. Got Forrest Whitaker up there for $9.99. 12-inch uh, Marvel Legends toys. Pretty much got Black Series here for $9.99. Oh, wow. Man, they got this here for $9.99. I didn't even see that. This is uh, Riri Williams. I don't want it because it's the movie one, but this is this is pretty cheap. This, this figure was just recently in Target. Oh, okay. Uh, Age of Apocalypse Wave. Everything down here is $9.99. The best looking thing up here is the white movie Venom, the stark white one. Got Grogu down here. Some type of pop for $5.99 dolls. But uh, it's stacked all the way up to the ceiling. All the way up there, you got like some type of glider up there. Looks like from a hobby store, probably cost you fifty dollars. More than likely, it's probably ten here. So pretty much a uh, second toy mountain here. Looks like you got a hobby helicopter. Got a flying disc here. Uh, got some stuff from Toy Story. Big Nerf guns. Going for like Fifteen bucks. Nineteen bucks. Also here we got more Star Wars archive. We got Lando here for $9.99. And I don't know who that is. Dengar for $9.99. And all these toys are like stacked 20, 30 of the same toy all on this mountain here. Doctor Strange Wave, Age of Apocalypse Wave, which you can build that Colossus for $40, $50 now. Depending on how much they got it for $79 or $9.99, which is all awesome. All these toys. Oh, no problem. I'm sorry. All these toys, these ways would cost you $100, $120, $140, and they're all sitting up here, all stacked to the ceiling. Uh, pretty much got Panthor here. Sit up at Walmart for a long time. Really not a deal on that, $19.99, but as you can see, you see how many they got. Really, these things should be going for about $10 a piece. Got the Wild Raider down there, stacked to the back. And as you can see, I took the rest of those uh, Fortnite games out. They had a Dark Knight Batman comic set that I was looking for. Um, and, oh, excuse me, sorry. And it was at the front door, but I can't find it now. You get to uh, five points of articulation toys. $3.99, how can you deny this? You got basics here for $6.99. Danger Mouse, wow. I don't know how these toys are. See, they got so much cool like little toys here. And for like $3.99, I mean, <laughs> how can you miss it? It really just costs $5.99, but I've never seen these in store. Like, well, where did these come from? These are more like comic book shop type toys. But crazy Danger Mouse. Crazy, so crazy. I used to collect this line here. I believe I got these guys though, but got Bullseye here for $3.99. If you were waiting on that, how can you deny that? Because they were like $15 for these little things, $10, something like that. Star Wars uh, vintage line here. Oh, we got electric here, so we got more of a uh, Marvel line. And then you got the flip head Power Rangers, like the old 90s vintage. I'm definitely not into that, but $5.99, how can you beat that? $4.99 for Baroness here. Some little mini cars here for $2.99. This is like shopping in Family Dollar, but it's all like premium stuff that was all pretty much at Walmart, at your Target, and they got moved on over. Oh, here's the Bucky O'Hare here. I got to put that back on there where I left it. But I end up getting the frogs at the Bucky O'Hare line. I think this is my most interesting pickup today. Uh, is this line here. It's Boss Fight Studios. Never had anything from them. But if you're looking for that rabbit girl, she's stacked in Ollie. She's about 10 deep. I picked up the rest of the frogs, which are about three of them left for $5.99. Um, so you're pretty much a lower uh, end Marvel Legends. Five points of articulation here. Lined up on the wall. All $2.99, $3.99. Now you see the wall is like busting at the ceiling and stuff on the ground falling. It's crazy. There's more Moth Guineas, more Greek Cargos, more uh, Transformers, Legacy Line, $9.99, you got Autobot, Silver Street, and, and there's nothing but Silver Streets, there's like a hundred of them, Jesus Christ. Uh, yeah, so $9.99 if you look at the Silver Streak. Also, if you, wow, ain't been up there in a minute, Cobwebs, but also if you're looking for comic books, they also have uh, graphic novels for the cheap books, you can probably cost you 15, 20 bucks. Come get them up here for $7.99, $5.99. Looks like they got a lot of DC stuff. $6.99, Harley Quinn, Archie. So uh, pretty cool stuff, pretty cool stuff. I was looking for this 
Dark Knight uh, set that had a Batman cow with it, but and it was only six ninety nine. But it's 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 not in here no more. And I don't know if somebody came to and brought all of it or oh, little stuff falling out the car, busting out the city. <sighs> we got him by. But we gotta figure out where that thing went to. <sighs> in the store, and I finally got what I first came in here initially to get. And it's this Batman Dark Knight set. And I brought a, a Deathstroke set from Second and Charles about four years ago that cost me about 30 bucks. They got this on sale for $7.99. You get the Dark Knight Returns book and mask set that's usually like in comic book stores. And they got it here cheap for $7.99. And I'm gonna grab one up to open. And I'm gonna grab me one to uh, keep with my comic book collection, just like how I did with the Deathstroke. So that is cool. That is cool. That 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 I think that's a bargain right there. $7.99 for a book in the mask. Uh -huh. Alright. I can fall in good fellas said we got the red wine. Now we can eat. Now we can check out. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is uh, my little video as far as what you've seen in Ollie's uh, today. Uh, pretty cool store. Say what's up, Brooke. Hi. And uh, so we're going to get back to the crib. We're going to get back to the caveman, and we're going to see what we got here from Ollie's today. Back here at home base, and we pretty much going to go through real quick what I grabbed and what I end up getting. Make a long story short, I end up spending, um, at cost, $270 worth of items came to close to $100. It was a little bit, a little bit north of 100, about 120. So I ended up spending about 120 with tax, but items at cost when they came out were closer to 270, 300 dollars. And I did pick up this eyeball Ghostbuster guy here. I thought this was pretty cool for 399. It says the regular price is 9.99 for this. I remember when this, actually when this was out, Ghostbusters was trying to do their. Uh, five points of articulation type line trying to throw back to the 80s line so this was cool for $3.99 like I said this is like a family dollar cheap toy but it's, it's not a toy it's a it, it's an uh, I guess Hasbro produced this is a Hasbro produced toy you know on, on that end because you know there's different levels of toys it's family dollar there's the Hasbro then of course imports things of that nature but got this toilet here with the little gag effect with the eyeballs shooting with the tongue shooting out this this is like a like I said, the Ghostbusters line in the 80s when you used to squeeze Inga, Egon's feet and his eyes would pop out. So I thought this was cool. This is something you can put in the scene, man. I'm, I'm, I might go back and pick up a couple more of these. At $3.99, like how can you lose? Also, uh, Mrs. Uh, Fantastic, I was actually gonna get the clear one. That's the one I actually wanted, but I, I played around and waited too late on Hasbro Post because it was a Hasbro Post exclusive and it sold out. But I needed this to complete my original team, so when I open up my Galactus, that's the team I'll display with him. And I got two of these, so uh, and, and some of these, I didn't have to spend $120. If I wanted one figure, I would have spent less than $100, but I, I tripled up on some items, because one was an army builder, and I needed a men on card with this, because when I first got this set, I, I, I had a set men on card, because I liked the way the packaging looked. So I finally got Miss Fantastic, that's finishing off my Fantastic Four team. This line I was interested in, I remember Bucky O'Hare had a cartoon, he had tennis shoes and his kid, kind of a franchise that had a lot of juice put into it, but it didn't last really long, but it's 90s nostalgia with the graphics and everything like that, and I thought it was pretty cool. Um, shout out to Alpha Proto who kind of put me on a little bit of knowledge uh, about this, this figure, it said it was an army builder. And I remember this, this kind of came out when I was a kid, but other than that, it's a cool figure with a lot, looks like a lot put into it, man. And for $5.99, I mean that 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 is cheaper uh, than a hollowed out figure you would uh, uh, buy at Family Dollar, and uh, this is great. It has great packaging. It has collector packaging where you can slip this back out and everything, man. I mean this is this is an A1 figure. I don't give a damn if it's stiff and it has no articulation. It just sits there and stands for five ninety nine. This is this is awesome. I wish they had Bucky O'Hare there and a couple of other, and they probably have. I, I, I just frequent Ollie's every now and then, but it's about to be one of my, my main stores because uh, they just have cool little stuff in there. I always remember when I when I go in there, they have cool stuff like this. So I picked up three of him. He's an army builder. Um, I guess he's like some type of toad army. And it would be dope to have like 20 of these guys, you know, a real army. And I would do that too at that price. Like how, how can you lose? Really, how can you lose on that? 
Also, um, I picked up a Deathstroke type box set like this, um, some Second and Charles like uh, four years ago and I thought it was around $30 when I read the tag on this it was uh, $39.99 because it's a collector's set okay it has a little cow on there and it also has a uh, you know the Dark Knight Returns Arises book which is pretty cool I mean it's a collector set cool but I think for that Deathstroke I think Second and Charles put it on sale when I finally brought it to like $25 and I was like alright I'll grab it but $7.99 for this this is awesome I mean this gets into the point of are you a scalper or are you a hustler? Because a lot of these items right here, I'm pretty sure that people who don't have access to Ollie's in certain parts, man, you could take them and sell them at cost back to them and still make money. That's not a scalper. That's a man who knows how to hustle and, and is on his job, man. So I, I don't have a problem um, with that. You know, there's a, I wouldn't necessarily, there's a fine line between scalping. I mean, there's, there's common sense and then there's, you know, okay, obviously somebody's scalping, but Make a long story short, man, a lot of good goodies. And then, as far as uh, this uh, Fortnite boat, yeah, I picked up the last four of them. They sat there for like a week. I came back and swooped and got them, man. Um, so, I'm gonna have, uh, I got, now I got, well, I had one already and there was three more left on the shelf. So, somebody might have kind of came and got one in between that time. But, uh, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna uh, definitely put these into use. I'm definitely not flipping these or anything. I'm about to put these to work. And uh, yeah, that was it, man. That that it was an awesome, 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 and the wonderful world of Ollie's, man. If you got an Ollie's in your in your town, I guess it's a southeastern type thing. But I'm pretty sure there's other stores like that with just different names across the country. Check them out, man. Check them out. Check them out, man. This is the age. Everybody's uh complaining about how high toys are. Well, then leave them high toys on the shelf. And, and be a true toy collector, man, and put your focus on something else, man. If, it, if it's something out of your wheelhouse, um, or if you feel like the price is going on, fuck them. Leave them toys on the shelf. I, I do. I do. I, I, if I want something, I, I'll go ahead and grab it. I'm not going to complain about it. But one thing, I'm, I'm not. it's not going to stop me from the fun of collecting, and this was fun. This was fun. But, hey, hey, this is a savage land. We do this for the love and beauty of action figures if you can give me a like comment subscribe follow me on instagram maybe we can talk just about in the toy community try to bolster up uh my representation on instagram and with that being said until the next time god bless